As I mentioned yesterday, Miami-Dade County has begun evacuating approximately 2,200 special needs residents who registered with the county and those evacuations will continue uh, until we are complete. We encourage everyone, if they're able, to provide assistance to family and friends who are elderly uh, and in evacuation zones, please do so. Special needs and other shelters should be the refuge of last resort uh, for people that uh, truly have no other place to go. For those who wish to evacuate today, after 5 p.m., we will be announcing the opening of four shelters, uh, one of which will be pet friendly. Yesterday, I ordered uh, the County Emergency Operations Center to be at level one, and obviously, we are continuing to be at level one. Uh, that activation level means our employees here at this facility are working to implement all actions necessary to keep our residents safe. County employees and volunteers have been activated in preparation for the potential impact of Hurricane Irma. Please note that uh, all the information will be available on our website, uh, www.miamidade.gov, and due to a high amount of uh, web traffic, our site experienced some difficulty in loading uh, Tuesday evening. We increased capacity on our website and it's functioning once again, and we have added critical information to our homepage. 311 hours uh, will be extended again tonight until 9 o'clock. Please be patient. The call uh, volume is heavy. Callers are, callers are experiencing wait times, and we encourage residents uh, to also submit inquiries uh, via the 311 Direct app, uh, which can be downloaded in the App Store. Regarding the uh, services that we provide to residents, as I said yesterday, uh, Miami-Dade County water is safe to drink. Uh, open the tap, uh, use containers in your home to store tap water. I've seen uh, a lot of uh, reports in the news media about stores running out of bottled water. There is nothing wrong with Miami-Dade County water. Open it. In the old days, we used to store them in pots and pans and, and also if you find that you can't find bottled water, just store some water. Miami-Dade County, it's good enough to, it's, believe me, it's good enough to drink, okay? Department of Solid Waste Management, waste and recycling services will continue until wind speed reaches 35 miles an hour. Once again, I want to urge all our residents not to trim their trees or hedges or begin any major cleanup projects at this time. Now is not the time. And although our crews will continue to collect bulky waste, uh, content, continue to content, uh, you know, uh, collect uh, garbage and bulky waste, uh, our scheduling has been suspended. That means in Miami-Dade County, you have to schedule a bulky waste pickup we have suspended all of those additional new ones as of 8 o'clock this morning, and we will but we will continue to collect the piles that were previously scheduled and routed. If you live in a municipality, uh, check with your city regarding waste pickup. Different municipalities have different systems, some of which will be picking up uh, bulky waste, uh, I believe, until Friday. If residents need to immediately dispose of household trash, uh, yard trash and bulky items, please take it to your trash to, uh, to one of the 13 neighborhood uh, trash and recycling centers in Miami-Dade County. Our trash and recycling centers are open daily from 7 o'clock to 5.30 and we will have extended operating hours of 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. effective today until Friday, September the 8th. Curbside garbage and recycling services will continue throughout uh, the remainder of the week as normal until weather conditions no longer permit sa safe operations of our vehicles. Miami-Dade Transit, Transit Services, Metro Bus, Metro Rail, and Metro Mover will continue to operate until sustained wind speeds reach uh, 35 miles an hour. Miami International Airport in Port Miami, our, our Miami International Airport will remain open. Flights can continue to take off and land until uh, sustained winds uh, reach uh, 35 miles an hour. Please uh, remember that our airport and our seaport, they are not shelters. Beginning Friday at noon, all commercial vessels, including crews and cargo, will depart our port and we will close Port Miami beginning at 8 a.m. on Saturday. Passengers who have questions regarding their flights and cruises should contact uh, the airline and cruise line directly. Parks and libraries uh, will close effective tomorrow. Marinas are contacting our residents directly. We're asking the boat owners uh, to secure their boats. Building and permitting offices are closing tomorrow as well. We do have staff heading out onto the field for inspections to ensure that structures such as roofs and other infrastructure are secure. Uh, all drawbridges will eventually be locked, but that is something that's controlled by the U.S. Coast Guard 
And the lockdown usually uh, doesn't happen until the threat uh, gets close, and we don't expect to ha that to happen until Friday or Saturday. Miami-Dade Police Fire Rescue are preparing for Hurricane Irma. Uh, please do not call 911 for general questions. Uh, use 311 instead, and use, use 911 only for an emergency. For their own safety, visitors in our community are encouraged to cut their vacation short and leave Miami-Dade County as soon as possible. I'm also hearing a lot of people saying they plan on leaving town, our own residents. Uh, if you're planning to do so, uh, my advice is to leave early. We don't want you to be caught uh, in, a, in a hurricane in your car. That's the worst thing you could do. So if you are planning to do so and leaving by car, please do so you know, as soon as you can. Um, lastly, 40, our 45 members of the Urban uh, uh, Search and Rescue Task Force that were in Houston are returning today at 5 o'clock. Um, these are the updates. Uh, as you probably have figured, I have not issued a, a mandatory evacuation order for uh, zones A and B. And that's because, we, uh, because the storm has slowed down a little bit. We now have a little bit more time to assess if we're uh, going to need mandatory evacuation orders. And so uh, the storm slowing down give us a little bit more time to take a look at forecast track and, uh, and a little bit better um, indication of where the storm is actually going to go. So, but we do have and will have uh, four uh, shelters with a capacity of about 8,000 people. They will be open today for those that want to voluntarily evacuate from zones A and B.